What is up, you guys? Today, we're going to be talking about meta. Within the past 24 hours, I've taken two pretty sizable meta put slash short positions. In this video, we're going to go over those puts. We're going to be talking about why I entered them, why I took profits, how I could have played this better. And if you're somebody who is in meta or looking to trade meta, what are some major levels that you need to be watching going into next week? Hit the like button, subscribe, check out our community. It's completely free. It's a Discord community with nearly 10,000 members within it. You guys get access to free courses, free live streams, free seminars, free webinars, free trades. Both of these meta trades I actually threw out for free. The first one I made $780 and the second one I made $640. And we're going to go over all of that within this video, but the link to the description or the link to the discord is within the description. So let's talk about meta uh, and let's go over the smaller time frame first. So looking at meta yesterday, very solid day. The entire market had a great day, but there was huge selling set up around 113. $113, there's a big whale that was ready to sell out of a huge order. And if we just go through and actually look at meta on a smaller time frame, such as like a one hour or a 30 minute chart, you can see the stock has just been performing very, very well since we bottomed out down here at about $88.18. Earnings was abysmal, but the stock has actually rallied about 20 something percent from 88 up to $111. But there's a huge book map uh, level up here at 114 that I want you to look at for meta. So one of the first things to look at, and we're going to look at a candlestick chart first, we have the 114 level on meta that I was watching yesterday. We also have an evening star setting up today, which is going to be something we talk about as we get into the bigger time frame. But we have the big book map 114 level that we were looking at yesterday. And this is why I entered that position short around 112, 114. I got into this yesterday. I didn't think we were going to push over 113. We had this nice sell off this morning. I closed that out for my first profit on meta. So this was right here at 934 in the morning. I closed out my puts for a $780 profit. Now, I closed the position because I saw big buying right at the open at $109. So you can see I'm actually going to go through and uh, use a rectangle around it. But down here, this is where I sold. We had this huge buy that came through. I thought we were probably going to see lows of day. And since then, we rallied. Now, I contemplated taking another put at 112.40, but I decided I wanted to be very, very careful of what my next entry would be. We pushed up to 112, pulled back, pushed up and made a higher high at 113, pulled back, pushed up, and this is where that huge sell was, up at 114. So I saw that huge sell waiting to be hit at 114. I didn't wait to enter at 114. Recently, I've been trying to fill a little before either the supports or the resistances because sometimes they're not going to tap them to perfection. So I got into my meta put at 113.60. The position that I opened was a 11.25, 1.14 put. I had a stop loss set over 115 and a take profit on 112 and 111. So I entered that position right up here. I knew that there was going to be heavy resistance coming into that level. And like I said, I had my stop loss set. I entered right up at 113.60. We pulled back, pulled back, pulled back. I sold at 112 because this was that solid support at 112 I sold I took my profits which I was very happy about at 112 and then we just broke 112 hit my target of 111 didn't quite get down to 110 yet but overall solid solid trade and I might actually re-enter a position on meta if we get another push back up because it is looking like we're probably going to continue to fade over the next couple of days and meta's sitting here flat right now but the reason I think that this is going to be a high for most recent times is because we have this 114 book map level, which we've been talking about for a bit. And we also have a one hour evening star set or 30 minute evening star set up. So we have this 30 minute evening star. We have support at 110. It looks like if we were to snap 110, that's where we would end up getting this potential drop back down to these levels of about 105 and 102. So looking at how we're set up currently, I'm still pretty bearish on meta, but I'm probably going to wait to see if we can recover a little bit more intraday to enter a position. I might actually take a put position right here because 112 is a solid resistance level. But in a best case scenario, I'd want to see if we can test 113, 114 one more time. But I'll keep you guys posted. As always, if you want to stay up to date with me and my trades, the best way to do it is within our free Discord community. The link is in the description, and I'll see you guys later on today. Peace.